So today we're going to be tackling the rear suspension, the corrosion and the rear suspension on the Mark II Jaguar. Um, looking around the internet for some guidance and helpful hints and tips suggest that there isn't much out there really. So I thought it would be worth documenting this process and adding it to YouTube for anyone that may be tackling the job in the future. So if you've watched any of our earlier videos, you'll remember that there was some corrosion areas in where the leaf springs sit in the body. Um, so the leaf springs are effectively an inverted uh, leaf spring design that's fixed at this end. Cantilevers in the middle and then the, the suspension loads are on the other end of the spring. The, luckily the, the pressings are available um, so the, these sections are available and also the spring hangers are available here as if by magic. I have some here. So you can see that there are actually two sections. There's an upper section that affixes to the body and then there's a lower section and then there's the actual spring hanger themselves. And all that basically happens is that these fit together to form the assembly that looks like this. And just wells in place here. And so, sounds simple. Um, the things that I have um, have to bear in mind very carefully is the criticality of the fitting of the new parts in terms of the dimensions of the measurements. It will be critical to make sure that this point relative to the vehicle body is accurate. So any variations in the fitting at the front and the rear of the sections will have a dramatic effect on the positioning of the end of the leaf spring, both um, uh, horizontally and vertically as well. Vertically, because obviously it will affect the ride height of the car and it will make the car look strange if it's not sat on the ground correctly. And then in this dimension it will make it difficult to, to realign the axle. And then backwards and forwards as well, it will make the axle effectively slant and the, the wheels not aligned properly so it's critical to get the measurements correct so I'm, I brought myself a pad of A4, a digital measure and a tape measure and I'm just going to start drawing the underside of the car and taking some critical points from uh, around the car so that when I tack in the new sections I can partially reassemble the springs and the axle and make sure that we are in exactly the same place because I don't want to end up having problems once I've fully welded these sections in. They're fairly substantial as you can see so there's going to be a uh, trial and uh, trial fit to make sure that we're happy with the positioning. I'm going to tackle one half at a time um, so that I've always got a reference point on the other side if I need. And you may recall as well from previous videos under this cover is another Mark II Jaguar as well so without any corrosion in that section so I've got the perfect car to, to cross-reference if required. So first job is taking the measurements I'm also going to take the rear axle out as well to make things easier. Um, I've already partially disassembled this car anyway so the prop shafts out and the exhaust heat shields have been removed. So next update once I've got the axle removed 